Good morning, I'm Dave Coach. Welcome to my channel. I hope you've been here before and I hope you've learned something while you've been here. If not, I'm doing a really poor job, but hopefully today you're gonna learn something. Um, a few minutes ago on my text group, one of my text groups, somebody was asking about how to do those outlines on plots of land. And um, obviously I, I tried to tell her what to do and she said, yeah, this isn't gonna work, make a video. So here I am like within an hour of, of Bethany, her name's Bethany, she's in Cedar Rapids, Quad Cities, Iowa. Bethany needs some help. I got to help her out. So here's a real quick video on how to do those plot lines around empty plots of land when all you've got is a plat map. This is a project I did a, about two weeks ago. Let me see. the Where's the date at? Two weeks ago. It doesn't really matter, does it? This was up in Camas, which is just east of Park City beautiful up there as you're about to see anyway let's go ahead and take a look at some of the images just just to show you what i've done there's a final and there's the picture i made it from so you know we're not doing a whole lot of crazy stuff it really does help if you've walked obviously you were there to shoot it so you know the process but when i did this i did it with the realtor and we scouted out all the plot lines and all that so that I would know where those lines are. Probably the most difficult thing about this is getting those plot lines, especially when there's no markers. I actually charge extra for that because I hate doing it. And it always seems like you, you do it and they send it back and you're 10 feet off and you have to redo it. So it's worth charging extra for if there's no actual dividing lines on the, the property itself anyway i did get a i wouldn't call it a plat but i did get a a lot summary that i can build from and this is what we had on site when we were we were shooting this and obviously i shot with the intent of doing the plot lines as outlines and also doing just the regular plot or the regular shots so this is our first shot this is the straight down shot just to show you this is what it looked like before this right there that's me no that's the realtor's car that's the tesla that's probably me there that's my car and then this is the one of the property owners so we were there so like the first thing you do is you take that out <laughs> and then you edit it and then let me just show you the, the plot line that I have for it so that you can see. Okay, well, first off, see, here's the intersection and it kind of twists and goes like that. That is this intersection up here. So coming that way. So we're looking at this property line right there, number 18. So that's what we're trying to, to match and, and do the outline for. It might help if I turn this a little bit, but I've got good, I can put it together. Anyway, I put that on my second screen, so I've always got that to reference. And then I take this image and I put that into Photoshop, just straight Photoshop. There we go. Now we look at that and um, try and figure out where our lines are. The first thing I'm going to do Let's make this just a teeny bit smaller so you can see it all. i um, going to make a copy of this. And you just go down to that plus, and that just makes a copy of it. It's that simple. And I like to do this just so I've got a backup or another layer to play with. Now, as I'm, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to put the plot right here. Can I do that? Oh. There we go. And I'm going to have that referenced up in that corner so that you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. At least I hope. Let's see. Can I know there's a way. There we go. Let's let's do that. Now you can kind of see both. Um, I'm going to zoom in to this a little bit so that we're looking at what we're we're doing. And actually, we don't even need this that big. We just need to see that okay that's good enough right there 
and let's bring this out a little bit more so that we've got the whole process. All right, so let's start with this line. That is probably right here. Um, let's see, yeah, it goes, you can see it goes past this corner. So it's gonna be roughly right along in there. So you can kind of almost see that line. And then it jogs over this way to right about the middle right there. And then it goes back to the middle of this curve right there. See how you can see right there, it's off that curve. So probably jogs up to there, then cuts across. And then I know this from being there on site, it comes down right at about this point. You can see that white box right there. Let me zoom into that. See that? There is a stake there, and that's what we were taking for the plot line. So what I do is I just take my, what the heck is that called? The polygonal lasso tool. I, I don't know what they're called. I just use them. So I go in here and I go to right about there. That looks like where the plot line starts. And we're going to go straight out to right. Oops, that didn't work. We're going to go straight out to right there. Then we're going to go across to right about the middle of that. And then we're going to go up to there straight across to right when I'm above that white box, straight down, and then just follow the curve. As many of you know, when you post these online, you're always, always, always supposed to put a thing that says lot lines are approximate. It's you must perform your due diligence to see the exact lot lines, blah, 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 blah. This is why you're guessing. Anyway, we've got that selection tool, and that's, I think, pretty darn close to what we're looking at here. So now I need to put a mat on it first. There we go. Double click on that, and we go to stroke. Ah, you know, blend mode. Blend mode should be normal. The size should only be like in the four or five area. So you might want to go a little bit there on that. We're going to make our opacity real thick and let's see, darken. There we go. You can just use whatever mode you want. That works really good. Change your size to whatever thickness you want. And that, that's essentially it. Just click OK and um, save that. And there's your plot outline. You can take it off and on. Let's do one more and let's do this one as an oblique angle that got you the basics. So let's do something that's a little bit harder. Should we do the same? Let's do a different plot. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do this one. And so that's our edit. Maybe probably should take that out and that's just Gosh, the way Lightroom is anymore, it's super easy to do. All right, and then let's pop that into Lightroom. And then let's bring up our plot map, plot map, whatever you want to call it. This is, it's lot 16 right there. So as you can see, it goes right to this corner. And then let's go up. And then it, this is kind of tricky because we've got this hill involved. So the, the plat map is straight down on it. So you've got to take into account the curve of the hills and the, the undulation of the land. Undulation, that's a word I used in our text earlier. And uh, I, I thought that was a fun word. So let's go ahead and see how this is going to go. So it's going to go up here. And then I would say it will round with that curve and it comes down almost dead center in this straightaway. So right about here. So let's go ahead and start with, oh, make a copy of it first. 
and so we're going to go just follow the road and the road actually i i didn't do this very well but if we go to the same distance up then see how we'll make this curve and that will probably look really good hit the mat and now we add our our stroke okay let's make it a little bigger let's definitely bring up the opacity and there you go that's it that's that's hard to, how darn easy this is to do you want a different color just go here go to yellow you can do yellow you can do any color you want i have found out since that bethany wants to do this in video that's a little bit beyond what i can help do but it's pretty easy to do it this way. I think what she's wanting to do is to take the actual plat map and do it as an overlay. Um, and I, I'm not sure that that's what I would want to do. I think, I think it's better to draw the lines by hand because especially when you're doing a, a, an acute angle like this, the the plat lines are from straight down and flat and don't take into account how the 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 land changes and moves and undulates so i think it's better to do it by hand let me show you a couple of other things you can do if you're wanting to if you really want to make this stand out let's let's bring back the no let's let's leave the stroke off you can take this background pull up a curves layer have the curves layer i'm hitting option and that makes this layer only apply to the layer beneath it but then i can bring this down and we can highlight it that way you can also if you want go and use a hue saturation layer again making that apply down and desaturate it so that only your plot of land is colored there's you know any number of things you can do once you've made your selection of what the plot is so you know do whatever you want you can do the outlines you can do the outlines and color let's let's add in There, see how that works? You can do, let's add that in. You know, you can do anything you want to make that thing pop out. But the idea is just use that um, selection tool, select out what you want, put a mask on it, and then add a stroke and pick your color. And there you go. So that's it. I think it's fairly easy. It's fairly straightforward. And there's just no limit to what you can do to make your properties stand out once you've done that so i hope that helps you i hope bethany do you guys know bethany if you know bethany to know bethany is to love bethany bethany is just so much fun and uh i give her a lot of uh, a lot of shit but we are um she's just wonderful and she's one of my best friends in the industry so bethany i hope this helps you out if it does give me a text let me know if anybody else has any problems put your notes down in, in the, the the whatever the comments below let me know what I didn't explain well or what I could do better to make this um, more educational for you hopefully you got something out of this and may your next shoot be your best shoot